What's up, Team Up Guys? Jonathan Buckhouse here. And in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the best, sickest, newest camera that's going to make skiing, snowboarding, getting shots of you on the mountain absolutely insane. That way, you guys can use the shot to improve your riding, your skiing, or just capture some incredible memories of you out here on the mountain. And that camera is the Insta360 X3. So we've been using the Insta360 ONE X2 all last season. It's an incredible camera. And this summer they dropped the Insta360 X3. They got rid of the ONE, which is super nice. And this camera has a ton of upgrades to it. One being this massive two inch little screen on the back, allowing you to pick what mode or review your footage, anything like that. So the back screen is a huge upgrade. But the main thing about the X3 that has made it the best camera for skiing and snowboarding is this new mode called Me Mode. What it does is it takes all of the technology of the 360 camera because the X3 is a 360 camera. But instead of having to go into post into the app and reframe all your footage like you used to have to do with 360 technology, the AI technology with the Me Mode lets you rip down the mountain like you would if you're filming in 360, but it's gonna do all the editing for you. It's gonna get you in frame, it's gonna get you the best shot, and then you just export it and you're good to go. No more reframing, which is insane. For someone that's making daily videos, that has sped up my process tremendously. And once again, this is so important if you're trying to work on your carbs or any like ollies or jumps and you want to see what your body position is what's going on it is a little weird at first like doing this stuff with a camera in your hand but once you get comfortable with it you know it's going to take the pull out so you're going to get incredible shots as well as like you'll be able to see where you are are you bending at your waist are you in a stacked body position and that's why i think it's so important and if you're a skier i don't have my skier buddy friend here to get the shot but you're going to get incredible shots as a skier as well but if you do film in 360 the insta360 app is by far the easiest app in the industry Industry to use to reframe your footage to do anything you want and in the app they have some new AI features which are really cool like sky swap where you're gonna like make space all behind you and it's absolutely insane there's so many options to change just the sky and the first time I saw that I was like yo I gotta do that and we did it and it was sick but also if you don't want to reframe your 360 footage they do have the most insane AI to do auto tracking you kind of just select yourself and it's gonna auto track it's gonna get an incredible shot of you ripping on the mountain Insta360 now also has a quick reader for the cameras that you can plug into your phone or your iPad or however you're gonna reframe or check out your footage. It's absolutely insane. It speeds up the process tremendously. But if you want, you can use the Wi-Fi that's on the camera to your smartphone device or whatever. And it's super fast, super quick if you go that route as well. Now, of course, I know you're wondering, wait, how does that pole even disappear? Well, Insta360 has what they call the invisible pole. This is a nice thin little pole. It's incredible. Literally, it's like the nicest selfie stick that you can get. And what it is, is it's thinner than the camera itself. So the way the camera works is a lens on this side, a lens on this side, and it stitches the two lenses together. And that stitch is the size of the camera, which the pole is thinner than it. So anything thinner than the camera is gonna disappear, become invisible. Which if you're really skinny, that means you're gonna disappear. Obviously that's a joke. But the selfie stick is absolutely insane. But if you do want to run the camera like a traditional action camera, you can do that as well through single lens mode. And they now on the X3 have 4K single lens mode, which is absolutely insane get that incredible footage that everybody wants, as well as they still have the flow state stabilization, which is gonna give your shots to be super buttery smooth, everything like that. And now they have 60 frames per second as well. So if you're into slow motion, you're gonna be able to capture tons of stuff in slow motion, which is sick. Now running the camera in 360, as well as in just single lens mode, kind of makes it a two in one camera, but I like to argue Insta360 that it's a three in one camera due to the mega pole. This thing is absolutely insane. This pole literally goes to the sky. It just keeps the going and going and going. And so with this mega long pole we have here, you can stick it in the sky behind a rider and it looks like a drone is following it. So I like to say the Insta360 X3 is a three in one camera because you get your 360 stick, you get your action camera follow cam and you get the drone shot on a ski resort, which is the only way to get a drone shot on a ski resort because no ski resort's gonna let you fly a drone on there. You can still get that drone looking shot thanks to the mega pole. Now I know what you're thinking. How does the X3 compare to a traditional action camera slash the other 360 cameras on the market. Right here I have the GoPro Max, which is the second biggest competitor in the 360 market. Now the GoPro Max can do 360 as well as single lens mode. So we went out and obviously tested side by side. Here's some of that footage. As well as we took it out, did a bunch of 360 tests as well. 
Now, one thing you're gonna notice with the Insta360 versus the GoPro Max is the Insta360's lenses are literally side by side, perpendicular, the same. The GoPro Maxes are off-centered, which is gonna make your stitching not as good as it literally being right the same, it's literally the same shot, you know, it's just stitched together. This is gonna be like slightly to the right, slightly to the left. That's gonna mess with your 360 stitching. As well as the Insta360 X3 is gonna have a half inch larger sensor as well as active HDR, which the GoPro Max does not have. So what the half inch sensor is gonna do is it's gonna give you a better dynamic range. So when the sun's out really bright like it is right now, the sun bouncing off the snow is gonna be captured better and give you a better picture on the Insta360 X3 than it will on the Max. And the active HDR is meant for golden hour and sunset shots. Now, when it comes to price, I got the GoPro Max for $500 and the Insta360 X3 is $450. But if you use the link in the description, you're gonna get the snow bundle, which is like everything you're gonna need to take the camera out here on the mountain, as well as Insta360 is running a sale. The other thing that you can compare between the GoPro Max and the Insta360 is the software, the GoPro software before Insta360 software. I have always lent, leaned, leaned towards the Insta360 software. So even back in that 1X2 era, I was using the Insta360 when I was doing heli trips and things like that because it was so much easier to reframe and get my 360 shots exported than it was with the GoPro app. The GoPro app is lacking in so many ways and now with the quick reader, it's so much easier to once again get my footage into the app, reframed, exported, everything I need with the Insta360. Now with the Insta360 just dropping the X3, you now have the other things I mentioned earlier that are gonna make this camera so much better than the Mac. Once again, me mode for capturing yourself, the sky swap as well as the auto reframe. The Insta360 literally is insane, but the biggest thing that I think is a big deal when it comes to these two cameras with skiing and snowboarding and why you should lean towards the X3 is battery life. The Insta360 has a much longer battery life. I think I get about four hours out of every Insta360 battery compared to an hour, maybe two on a warm day out of a GoPro Max battery. These batteries are exponentially bigger. And one thing I've had with the Max batteries over time is this little pull tab to get them out of the camera breaks, which is super annoying. And then you gotta beat the camera to get the battery out. Insta 360's batteries are the biggest game changer for cold weather. You're on the mountain, it's gonna be cold. You, how many people have turned on their action camera and it's already dead and they haven't even done their first run. It's so frustrating. I've never had that issue with the Insta360 cameras and the X3 is no different. Another super irritation with the GoPro Max and the battery is if you got it mounted and you try and pull it out, you can't open the door because the little knob thing is in the way. And this was something that always drove me insane. And I always had to mount my camera a different way because you can't get the battery out without having to demount the camera. So you have to remove the prong and able to access the door. I can't even get, I can't even get this thing open. Yeah, boom. Now you can pull your battery out. Now I am sponsored by Insta360 and they did sponsor this video, but I have literally used both cameras over the years. I started with the GoPro Max and I have now changed and shifted over to the X3. And I am so thankful I have the Insta360 this sale and the snow bundle guys are all linked down below. If you do want to snag this camera, I do think the me mode is going to change your life when it comes to skiing and snowboarding. So snag the camera, become a better snowboarder, a better skier, or just capture all the moments that you want. And with that team up guys, thank you so much for talking tech with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this snowboard channel, gear channel, review channel. Hey!